What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is of course Amar and I'm an electric skateboarder and content creator based right here in the UK. My goal for this channel is to be a resource for you e-skaters through reviews, tutorials and ride videos. So if any of that is of interest to you, be sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. It takes one second. You don't want to miss out. In this video, I'm bringing you guys a world exclusive unboxing and first impressions of Meepo's latest product. I am in the very privileged and fortunate position to be the first person in the world to have this board shipped to them. And it is the Meepo NLS 3, AKA the Meepo Envy. In fact, Meepo have also sent me another of their currently unreleased boards but we'll leave that one for another video. Now there's been a whole lot of hype about this board, its specs, its price, etc. But before we dive into the packaging, just to let you guys know that Meepo have supplied me with this board and the other one free of charge for the purpose of an unbiased review. They don't pay me to make these videos and I'm completely free to share my unbiased thoughts and impressions as I've done in all of my videos. Also, thank you so much to Noble Man Tech for being our channel sponsors. I always encourage you guys to ride your electric skateboards safely and that consists of wearing at the very least a helmet but also protective gear because it's not if you're gonna fall off, it's when you're gonna fall off. So it's always better to dress for the fall and not just for the ride. Check out all their high-tech safety gear on the link in the description below and enjoy an extra 5% off all your orders with the code AMAR at the checkout. Let's unbox this beauty. Ugh. This being the special occasion that it is, we've also upgraded our unboxing knife. Let's dive in. Oh yes, there we go. It is very refreshing to see this packaged as a box within a box, meaning that this board has shipped from across the world in China to me here in the UK, but the box is in pristine condition. Check out the design of this packaging though, it's pretty neat. So you've got these sort of lime green leaf patterns that span all around the box but that's not why you called all right let's get this facing you guys now normally i would have had an overhead angle as well but i'm just itching to get this video out there so sorry about that straight off the bat we've got an owner's manual and then ready drum roll please there we go meepo nls3 we can take a look at that thing Lime green. Ooh. Bash guard at the front as well, that's impressive. Oh, she's not light. So this board I think weighs in at just under 10 kilos actually. But that's for good reason. It packs a very, very good battery. We'll go over the specs shortly. Just get this packaging off. It smells fresh off the manufacturing line which is awesome. Right, let me drop this down for a second. We'll see what else is in the box and we'll take a closer look at this beauty. So in this box, we're also getting 4.5 amp hour fast charger. Whoa, well, Meepo are really pulling out all the stops here. A fancy fast charger that's actually branded Meepo and it feels really, really great. It's got this like plasticky texture to it for grip, but it's just a charger. Let's not get too excited about the charger. UK plug to come with the charger. Obviously, depending on where you order this to, you'll have the relevant cable head there. What we also get, I'll just empty the box actually, go through everything one by one. Right then guys, so board aside, here's everything else that you get with your NLS3 Meepo Envy. We've already mentioned the charger. It's actually a fast charger straight out of the box, which is a nice upgrade. And this will allow you to experience a full charge of the big battery on this board in just two hours. So you can empty the board within two hours of a stop at a cafe or at home, you're fully charged, or within a one hour charge, you've got 50% of your juice back, which is pretty amazing. That might have wider ramifications across the long term. It might degrade your battery a bit quicker, but it's normally quite a marginal decline in the battery health from what I've spoken to with DIYers. You've got your bog standard T-tool there. If this isn't your first electric skateboard, then 
you'll probably have plenty of these lying around. Now the board is actually fitted with 96A durometer wheels, which I'm really curious to see later on in this video, how they perform whilst I'm out on the road for someone that's my weight and with my carving style, etc. But if you're a heavier rider or if you prefer higher durometer bushings for higher stability uh, and better stability at top speed, then Meepo actually have done the very amazing thing of shipping everyone 100A durometer bushings as well, which will provide a bit less rebound and more stability at high speed. And next up, we've got a USB-A to USB-C cable. And if you haven't guessed already, that does mean that the remote that you get with this board is USB-C rechargeable. And this is pretty much the standard remote that you can expect from most of Meepo's boards. A very, very nice remote. I've always liked this remote actually. Um, obviously I've never actually reviewed a Meepo product on this channel, but I have. They've actually sent me a board before, um, which I'll discuss later, the Meepo Shuffle. I'll discuss that in another video. And I've always had friends um, riding Meepo boards that I've got to experience as well, because Meepo probably push out more electric skateboards than other um, large electric skateboard companies combined. That's, you know, Meepo are probably the most popular electric skateboard brand by volume. Now, this is a Hobbywing remote, meaning of course that we've got a Hobbywing ESC in this board. We'll talk about the ESC and how it actually performs on the road later, but I'm expecting no jerkiness at all in the throttle. I'm expecting a buttery smooth communication between the remote and the board and I'm expecting very smooth acceleration and braking, as always can be expected with Hobbywing ESCs and remotes. And then finally, what you also get here are uh, an assortment of screws and also an Allen key, just so that if you ever did uh, lose a screw or something, or if you did need to tighten something, that's everything else that you get in the box. For now, let's get this board back on the table and discuss some of its specs. Just handling it, I can feel that the grip tape is very, very grippy, which is a very good thing, by the way. That means that it's really gonna stick onto the soles of your trainers and skating shoes whilst you're skating. And the grip tape will wear out over a longer period of time, meaning you don't need to replace it. But check out that design. Really nice, like venomy design to this board. Lime green is consistent across the wheels and then the sort of design on the deck, you've got that standard arrow at the front of the deck, just to remind you that that's forward. I mean, it's not a four-wheel drive board, but I guess they took inspiration maybe from Casey Neistat on that one. The wheels on this board are really, a really, really nice color. I mean, I don't know if you like, depends really, I guess, if you like lime green or not, but these are 78A 90 millimeter diameter wheels. Look at that rebound on the wheels, wow. <laughs> I'm excited about that because I've got terrible roads in my city and I'm really excited to see how these perform over badly paved roads and over potholes, over gravel and things like that. They should really, really be comfortable even though they're on the smaller side, diameter wise, 90 millimeter isn't the biggest size, but the 78A durometer on these wheels should really, I guess, compensate for that. And of course, we'll take a look into how that performs later. And these wheels are actually 60 millimeters in width so this should do a really good job of gluing onto the road surface and providing you with quite a wide contact patch. I've just flipped over this board and I'm loving the attention to detail that Meepo have carried out on this board. So the lime green theme on this board doesn't just stop at the grip tape design, nor does it stop with the lime green lanyard on the remote. But even if you flip over the board, you've got polished plasticky pieces that act as risers before screws go in to attach the ESC compartment and then the battery compartment to the board. You've got this nice sort of design on the battery itself saying Meepo, carve out your style. I'll try and do that later on this video, although perhaps that should say carve out, comma, your style. And even the trucks are painted lime green and the bushings are green and of course the wheels are green as well. Now these trucks are eight inch, 50 degree reverse kingpin shredder trucks. I think they'll perform very, very well for carving. And as we said, the bushings are 96A that are pre-installed on the board, but you could always switch those out for the 100A durometer bushings that we've also got in the box. Moving on to the other side of this board then, you can see that this board is pre-installed with belt drive. Meepo will actually be releasing this board also with hub motors that's currently under R&D. 
stage, but with this board, we've got dual Hobby Wing 4240 motors that should provide ample power, especially if you're on the heavier side, this board's actually rated to carry riders up to 150 kilograms. I'm not sure I would recommend a bamboo board for a rider that weight. We'll go on to the, talk about the deck in a second, but it's rated for that and we'll see how these motors perform up steep inclines, which I'll do a bit later on in this video. For those that care, the motor diameter on this board is 52 millimeters by 60 millimeters in height. Now, what shall we talk about next? I think the battery. And Meepo have gone for a very, very smart choice. They've actually opted to construct this battery from super high quality Monicel 21700 milliamp hour P42A cells, which is great to hear because those cells will perform amazingly well and the discharge rate on them also is pretty awesome. Now, the battery construction itself is 12S 2p and the watt hours capacity for this battery is 362 watt hours just as i was feeling around this uh, battery here i did get a slight feel of this rubber material at the bottom and you can really see here meepo they're really making improvements in their quality previously meepo have always been seen as the budget brand the go-to cheap brand of eskate but now Really, they're forking out money in their R&D in really developing very well-performing electric skateboards that also are built to a very high quality. Now, I remember Meepo's, some of Meepo's earlier boards that will just have a foam layer underneath the battery in the ESC compartments to keep out dust, dirt, water ingress, etc. But now they've got a really high quality custom-made rubber gasket that sort of sits across the whole circumference of the underside of the battery casing and the ESC casing as well. It just looks so well put together, this board. And it looks like Meepo have really gone to high expenses to make sure that this is a high quality product. Of course, you'll have to wait for my full review so that I see how this board holds up under my own testing, especially as somewhat of a heavier rider. But for the moment, I'm very, very impressed. We do have the power button here at the bottom of the board, um, at the top of the battery. And then we've also got our charge socket, which of course has a rubber gasket uh, to keep out all that dirt and water ingress too. Now, I think the only thing really left to talk about this board, apart from, um, so there's actually a button on the ESC as well, which is quite interesting. So I'd be interested to see in a few moments if I need to turn on the ESC first before I turn on the battery. I'll put that on the screen for you as soon as I figure that out. The ESC is actually the newest Hobbywing ESC that Meepo are using, which is awesome to see. The motors here are actually quick release just from looking at the back of the board, which is a great thing because should you be quite unlucky and have any issues with the motor, Meepo will quite happily ship you out a new motor if you're within the warranty period, which I'll talk more about customers service in the full review but you can just slot that motor in, motor in to place here and then plug it straight in without having to disassemble the ESC case. I guess the last thing really to talk about is the deck. Now Meepo say that the deck on the MV is composed of pure yet flexible bamboo and I have to say just from looking at the circumference of this board it looks really really nice. It looks well polished. Let me just cover my eyes there. It looks well polished on the sides and it'll be interesting to do a flex test for this board. You do have a very subtle concave on this board. You've got the standard W concave, the contours sort of come out a bit. So you'll be able to plant your feet into here quite nicely for the average foot size. The last thing I forgot to mention was bash guards. This being, I guess, one of Meepo's premium lineup of boards. They have actually forked out for pre-installed nose guards and tail guards and these are great because if you're going to be using this as a day-to-day -day board you're going to have a lot of instances where you'll put the board down like that just at the edge um, at the tail end or at the front end of the board these plastic protectors are going to save the edges from really chafing up and then interfering with the integrity of your deck but I think apart from the last thing which I'll mention now I think that's it the last thing I'll mention is the price of this board which currently is $699 for everything that I've mentioned the premium quality of this board 
is really, really impressive. Subject to me being impressed, in the riding portion of this video, I think that's a fantastic price. It's currently $100 off. That price may go up as time goes by, but the release price for this board is $699. You can pick this board up and it will be shipped anywhere really across the world. I think really that's a fantastic price. For a board of these specs, that's gonna push you up to 32 miles per hour with these motors and the battery combined and the power output. But I think $699, dollars is an amazing price. Really, it's almost a no brainer to be honest if you're looking for a board like this. But without any further ado, let me get this board under my feet and we'll go out for a ride and see how it really performs in the real world. Let's go do that now. Right then guys, so we're out on the Meepo Envy and what a board to get back into e-skating with. I actually haven't ridden any of my boards for best part of a few weeks now actually, just because the weather's just been so terrible here. But it's finally starting to feel like summer, back into e-skating season pretty soon. And what better board to kick off my e-skating than with the Meepo Envy. Like, just listen to that motors, listen to the motors roar there. I'm absolutely loving this board. It feels so delicious to ride. It's really, really comfortable. Very, very carvy as well. And yeah, oh my God. And it literally roars this board. It sounds like my, um, my boosted V2 Dual Plus that I had all those years ago. And I've ridden so many boards from many brands that try to emulate that boosted feel. But to be honest with you, this is the board that comes closest. Um, maybe this and the X-Wave Flex Pro. Let me know if you guys want to see me put those two, these two boards up against each other. I mean, the Flex, it seems Meepo have got that just right with the bamboo and uh, fiberglass deck here. It's not so flexible that it becomes unstable and causes you any speed wobbles. But at the same time, um, combined with those really nice geometer wheels, the 90 millimeter wheels, it really allows for a really nice, comfortable ride. Comfortable, I think, is the word I wanna stress on there. Really nice and comfortable and yeah. <laughs> I mean, these wheels, even though they're so fresh out the box, they're really gluing this um, gluing the, the bike path, gluing the surface and got to say really impressive to be honest. Let's see how it handles over this pedestrian crossing here. Brilliant, didn't even feel that pothole, another pothole and another pothole or drain cover I should say, straight through there. Awesome. Guys, this is by the way only mode three of four modes on this board. Let's see how we handle this. I'm going to slow down because I don't want to scare this pedestrian. Yeah. Awesome. I went straight over that. How about I go for four in a row? Let's see. Hey. <laughs> Ford probably didn't thank me for that, but we got over it and that's the main thing. Slow down. Let's see how maneuverable we can be here. Yeah. Good stuff. Awesome, guys. Meepo. I mean, I think this board used to be called Venom something. Venom, a mix between Venom and Viper, but they changed it at the last minute to Meepo Envy, which is a much easier name to remember. But really, this, if this board was a snake, then I can see why um, they would have called it that name because it really would pack some venom in the punch. It's a really, really punchy board, especially with belt drive. Obviously, you can, you'll be able to purchase this board with, with a hub drive later. Now, guys, we're now on our way to a street which is probably one of the most, one of the hilliest streets that I know of in our city centre. And I want to see whether this board devours the hill on that street or whether it struggles because um, I'll put on the screen for you what Meepo have said about this board's hill climb ability, but from what I could see on the website, it looks pretty impressive. So I'm gonna put it to the test really and see, see if this board can tackle that hill. At the moment, we're about 5.6 miles into the battery on this board. So we're certainly not doing this on a full battery, but nonetheless, we'll see how the board performs. Almost there. And we'll put the board into mode 4 for you guys, just so that we're using every possible ounce of torque and power that it can produce, and we'll see how we go. Alright, so are we ready guys? Let me flip, turn you guys around. It's just coming up on our left here, and hopefully you guys will get a good view of this. So, 
Here we go. Right, we're going, going. It's picking up actually. It's actually picking up speed. 17 miles an hour, 18 miles an hour, 19. And it's starting to level out. So, oh my God, that's a lot more impressive than I imagined it would be, to be honest. I thought it would at least start slowing down. Uh, but no, that's actually one of the steepest roads that I know of within Birmingham city center, actually. In fact, there is another sort of steepish incline which I'm just going to go down. I'm going to go down this road actually and then come straight back up it. Let's have a look. So we're on a bike lane now. Let's go down and we'll see what it's like going up. But this time, rather than having a bit of a run up to it, we're just going to start from a standstill and see how the board goes from there. So let me turn this board around, get to the bottom, turn the board around and we'll see how we go. Going up, not down. No, I'm cheating. I'm not pushing. Oh, it's got a battery on it. It's electric, yeah. Yeah, it's cheating. It's supposed to give it the Yeah, it's cheating, I know. I'd, I'd, I'd lose some pounds if I, if I went up by pushing. Do you want to see it go? Oh my God, we're flying up this hill. I'm just, I'm almost as impressed as, <laughs> as those ladies were. <laughs> uh, they couldn't believe, they were like, oh, are you going down or up? And I was like, I'm going up. And they're like, oh, you're going to have to push that up. That's not nice. Well, the power of Eastgate, hey, the power of electric. Welcome to the future. God, I'm loving this. Oh, let's slow down for the peds. And overtake this taxi. Right, let's see how the board actually fares over these bricks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Overall then guys, I'm really impressed with this first ride. The speed, the power at which this jumps off the line. I've currently stayed in mode four actually, because I want to see what effect riding in mode four will have on the range, really sharp braking. That was really smooth, sharp braking there before that roundabout. And it's thanks to the new Hobbywing ESC on this board. It's a really, really smooth experience. And wow, have a sound of, this road is so smooth. Oh yes. And we'll get a nice wide carve in there. Beautiful stuff. My arm is really starting to ache again, but I'm loving this board. I'm absolutely loving this board, honestly. There's not much I can think of that Meepo need to actually improve. And to think that you can get this board for under $700, just about under $700, kind of blows my mind, to be honest. Obviously, there's things to be said about customer service and things, which I'll cover in, in my full review. He should have been stopping there. I don't know why he was gonna drive straight into me, the taxi, but... Can you hear that sound of the motors? And look how stable the board is as well. So that, this is a bamboo. That was easily, that was 27 miles an hour. I just went there. It doesn't even feel it. Right, slow down for the mini roundabout. Is that pedestrian crossing? No, he's not. Well done, Meepo. That's all I can say for now. And such a fun, playful board as well. It's really nimble, actually. So it's stable at speed, but also if you want to be really playful with it, snappy, enjoy a few little carbs. Did you see how it went over that pothole there? Just absorbed it with those nice squishy wheels. Just casually overtaking traffic, overtaking taxis. And this deck as well, it feels so comfortable. I feel like my feet are really well planted into the deck. It's got a very nice and subtle contour to it. So that at high speed, my feet don't feel like they're gonna fall out at any point. I even went over some pretty big potholes earlier and they, were, they, they didn't make my feet move around the deck at all, which was really impressive. You can see at the moment, I'm keeping up with this BMW X3, no problem at all. I'm doing the speed limit, currently going about 27 miles an hour. I think this road's a 30. So no issues at all with this board. I'm just slotted into the traffic quite perfectly. It's a car behind me, car in front of me. And this is really what you want if I were 
struggling along, struggling along, and I couldn't keep up with traffic, that actually puts you in a very dangerous position when you're on an electric skateboard, because vehicles are constantly looking to overtake you if you can't keep up with traffic. So, a really good advantage of this board is the power and the speed that it offers you. Right, let's do a full loop around this roundabout, just so I can enjoy a nice wide curve. Hey, how about that one, eh? And although it's nice and nimble and you can carve, do little carves, but when you do push the throttle in and want to go high speed, want to go 29 miles an hour like I'm going now, the board remains stable as anything. In fact, the flexible bamboo and fiberglass deck doesn't hinder your stability at all, in fact. If anything, it just adds to the comfort and that added comfort allows you to feel more comfortable at speed and more comfort means increased confidence and when I'm confident on my board I'm much less likely to fall off um, can you hear that sound oh my god I love the sound of those motors oh god all right that was a really sharp brake test all of a sudden I looked up and the red light was coming up. Obviously there was no pedestrians or anything crossing, but it was a really good test for how sharp the brakes were on this board and how smooth they were. I went from 29 miles an hour to dead still in like, how many meters? I don't know, probably like 15, 20 meters. Really impressive, honestly. For now guys, I'm going to continue enjoying this board. Just for your guys' reference, the odometer is showing 7.8 nine miles now actually and i've just basically used up half the battery it's showing on the remote um meaning about 16 miles with my weight at the moment i'm weighing give or take about 84 kilos with my backpack with all my gear and everything and in this ride i've been riding exclusively pretty much mode three and mode four so high speed riding a lot of carving we did a couple of incline tests as well. 18 miles, not bad going at all, honestly. I'll take that any day of the week. For $800, a board of this feel, 18 miles, I've got no doubt that it would reach the top speed of 31, 32 miles an hour. I could see on my remote myself, I went up to 29, and the remote was still accelerating. So really, really impressive, to be honest. For $800, I'm gonna keep saying that over and over again, because it's really impressive, honestly. There's not much to critique about this board for now. Obviously, as I continue to ride it, I'll be releasing my full review soon, hopefully. Might be a long-term review, actually. We'll see how it goes, because I've got other Meepo boards to review and, on, and film videos on. For now, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, I'm going to keep enjoying this board, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.